There is no print date on this tape. I did check the end of this. This does not have the Walt Disney and you promo. If you can't see it, it's printed in the ninth week of 1995. January 12, 2001. Now, there used to be a blockbuster label on here, but I peeled it off for a reason. Here's why. When I first got this tape at Goodwill last week, it was moldy, but I did manage to clean the mold off using my um, Kenyo VHS cleaning machine that I got from eBay last year. And the only problem is there are a few screws on the back here. You can see that they're sticking out a little bit. I have having trouble getting them back in properly, but I am going to try my best to see if I can get them back in, but because with them sticking out like this, I can't get the tape to go into my VCR. Because I was opening up the tape shell to see if there's any excess mold that needed to be cleaned out, and it didn't look like there was. But if for whatever reason I can't get these screws to go back in properly, then maybe somewhere down the road I'll try to get another copy of this tape. But I did get the mold cleaned off of it, which is good. So those were the VHS tapes for the update. Now for the DVDs. And in case you're wondering when and where I got a certain item I show in this video, I'm going to mention them in the description. Because I really don't feel like mentioning in the video right now where I got everything. This one's a flipper disc with side A being the full screen version and side B being the widescreen version. Here's the last DVD. Since I do like the American version of The Office, I decided I'd check out the um, British version, which this came before the um, American version. And this was purchased at Movie Stop at one point. I also have one other DVD, the British um, version of The Office, which is The Office Special, which I found that DVD at Dollar Tree last year. And now for the eight Blu-rays that I recently acquired. This first one is a box set. Not only does this contain the complete series of Batman the Animated Series, but it also includes two bonus discs of the animated films Batman Mask of the Phantasm and Batman and Mr. Freeze Sub-Zero. I also do have Batman Mask of the Phantasm on VHS, but Batman Mr. Free Sub-Zero I've never owned until I got this. I'll show those inserts in a minute, but I'm going to show you the discs first.
And now here are the discs for Batman Master the Phantasm and Batman and Mr. Free Sub-Zero, which these are actually both Warner Archive Blu-rays, which I was not expecting this, but it's really cool nonetheless. Speaking of Warner Archive, there's also one other Warner Archive Blu-ray I have to show in this update, which I will be showing in a few minutes. And I'll show you the inserts, starting with the episode guide. Yep, season one of the show had a total of 65 episodes, so that's why there's five discs for season one. And it also comes with a digital copy code, which expired on New Year's Eve 2019, so it's probably not going to work anymore. And I also have um, the soundtrack to this on cassette tape, which I got from Disney Movie Insiders back in July. And it comes in a really cool red case. And the Disney Movie Insiders code's already been used. Code expires on September 30th, Here's the inside artwork. The code expired on March 31st, 2021. This does have a Walmart voodoo sticker on the front, but I actually got this at Dollar General. So, yeah, I guess this was supposed to be in Walmart. Maybe it was in Walmart at first and somehow ended up at a Dollar General. Yep, and you know how I said a few minutes ago that I had one other Warner Archive Blu-ray to show? Well, here it is. I also have Tex Avery Screwball Classics Volumes 1 and 2, so I figured why not get Volume 3 as well. And now here's the last Blu-ray for the update, and this is an interesting one. This is a Lionsgate Blu-ray, and it's from the Vestron Video Collector Series, which this is my first um, Blu-ray of that type. And this is volume 20 in the Vestron Video Collector series. Yep. Each of these releases um, are numbered. This is the first one that I have. And I like how they use the, um, the old Vestron Video logo from the 80s.
And this code expires on July 20th, 2022. And now finally I have two cassette tapes to show. And these are both um, movie soundtracks. This comes in a really cool red case. And the long-awaited Ghostbusters Afterlife is coming out in theaters next month, and I'm definitely going to go see it when it comes out.